I think that the question about the relevance of gas in the future energy system is geographically specific, so depending on um, you know, the natural resources of a geography, the infrastructure in, in place, so um, the answer is different for different parts of the world. Having said that, I, th I think certainly in the UK, gas remains relevant for, for many decades to come, both in the power and the heat sectors. Um, but the role of gas will be quite different. So in the power sector, whereas at the moment it is very much focused a around providing baseload power capacity, I think in the future as we see more renewables um, and more intermittent sources of generation coming onto the grid, then um, it becomes more important to be a, a flexible uh, backup product. Um, and on the heat side, I think it, it it will continue to have a relevant role for um, providing heat to houses, particularly in countries where the gas distribution grid, like in the UK, is such a dense infrastructure um, and therefore solutions to decarbonise heat are bound to be biased towards solutions that can utilise that gas grid infrastructure, so things like biogas and biomethane. So, um, as we see um, load factors of, of new gas plants falling, so we will expect to see um, uh, power plant load factors reducing to kind of 15% in the 2030s perhaps, which means that um, the, the model needs to evolve for gas infrastructure towards plants that can be built to ramp up and down quickly, so more quickly than CCGTs do at the moment plants um, like gas reciprocating engines which can be built at a small scale with low capex are much more efficient at ramping up and down to provide the power needs that are required in the energy system of the future.